October 30th, 31st, November 1st. Happy Halloween. I should have dressed up. My little hairdo. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Perfect time for Halloween. Why? Because the sun is exactly opposite Jupiter. The sun in Scorpio opposite Jupiter in Taurus. Whenever you see this opposition, you think food. They like to eat. They like to think about food. They plan their food. They love sugar. They love to bake. They love to get the sticky stuff on top of the cake. They stick their finger in their mouth. It's people that are like, mmm, secret sauce. This is really strong, delicious energy. And for Halloween, that is the funniest holiday. We let our kids go out and take bags and bags of candy. So we have Sun, Mars, and Mercury in Scorpio, opposite Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. And then the moon just snuck out of the full moon. It's now in Gemini, so the tension isn't as big. Gemini moon lightens things up. But I just want to say during Halloween, I am encouraging you to indulge. When you have Jupiter, only once a year does this happen. Jupiter's opposite the sun. The sun moves a degree every single day around the sky. Jupiter is much slower. In a whole year, it stays at the same sign. So it's been in Taurus. It's going to be there for the whole year. And this is the moment they're opposite each other. So it just says Jupiter opposite the sun is a very opulent, optimistic personality that can eat and indulge. And that's why I think Buddha was fat. Because Jupiter people are joyful, they laugh at everything, they have a certain spirituality to them because they're indulging in life and participating and there's no off button and that's what this whole Halloween is like. So Jupiter opposite the sun and the moon in Gemini said, talk about it, permission slip to indulge, enjoy, be outside, dress up, get all your negative shadow side out by putting on a little outfit and giving people permission to be just wild. That's Jupiter. Enjoy. Astrology answers one of you say, it's not very often that Jupiter and the sun are opposite each other. If you like this video, be sure to join the wait list for my online school, Applied Astrology, where you'll discover the basics of how to read your birth chart and how to give readings to others. Your true purpose in this lifetime is waiting for you and a clear roadmap so you can follow your path and fall madly in love with you. Come click in the description to join the waitlist and I'll let you know when the registration opens again. You'll be the first one on the list.